Hello and welcome to episode 14 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with Volkdale's faction here at cycle 23, day 17. We've got about 10 days left in this drought, and last time we expanded our reservoir uh, a decent bit. We added a correctly placed dirt excavator so we wouldn't uh, hoard bad water in this area, expanded industry a little bit, uh, expanded our farm just a touch with some terrain blocks, and this time... Among other things, uh, we have to finish this bad water rig uh, or else we're going to poison a whole lot of beavers working here. And uh, that's currently our primary objective. We need another 67 treated planks. Gears, well, I'm not worried about because they're pretty much already done. But uh, the treated planks could be an issue because we only have three of these woodwork shops that are working currently. And it takes three hours to make a single plank. So every hour we are making one plank. We have nine and a half days. It's almost the end of the workday, and we need 67 of these things. So uh, we'll see what happens. We do have the potential option to uh, demolish this dance hall and recover most of these 50 if we get to the point where that's necessary. I'd like to avoid that, but uh, you know how this goes. Sometimes you have to do crazy things to uh, protect <laughs> the main objective. But uh, other things we want to get to today, I really, really want to get to aquatic farming. We've been putting it off for a really long time, and we talked about it last time, about uh, why I didn't think it would work. And I think what I'm going to have to do is just shut up and do it, honestly. Uh, build ourselves a little uh, controlled area that I can just keep flooded at all times with a water dump and just be done with it. Uh, the evaporation is going to make it a little harder. And we're going to have to figure out exactly what the best method is going to be for that. Because don't forget, uh, we can't really put it here or here because, well, the bad water is going to be a problem. And also there's not enough depth, or there's too much depth in some of these areas to really uh, make a uh, good bit of that. So uh, we could, if we really felt like it, we could make a play for filling in the bottom of this bit right here a little bit and just keeping it a little bit shallower, but I don't really think that's going to be the best option. I think what's going to work the best for us is going to be to take an area kind of like this and just enclose it on four sides with either dirt or levees. Uh, supposedly, we were told a long time ago that the levees are going to stop evaporation uh, better than the ground, but uh, independent testing has determined that, that is not true. Uh, so... It appears they evaporate at the same rate, so I don't think we're going to really worry about it. If we felt like it, we probably could have a reasonable amount of success uh, just making this area into an aquatic farm. But I, I don't know. I feel like it needs to be substantially large enough to make it worth our while. But it can't be too big or else the water is just going to constantly evaporate and it's just going to be a continuous cycle of putting water in the water dumps then uh, dumping the water in the water evaporating and then beavers just running all over the place getting all of the water that they can so hopefully by the end of today's episode we're going to have a working uh, working aquatic farm but there are still plenty of other things to do we have completely full water storage more or less uh, storing 7,000 which is fantastic because we only have 126 beavers currently uh, but we are trying to expand we're putting in some more lodges here uh, we just have to be able to build everything here. So that is what we will be working on here and there, getting little bits and pieces done and making sure we have enough of beavers to take care of uh, all of our jobs. So triple speed time. Pull out of uh, this little uh, overnight lack of working. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I was attempting to... Excuse me, something to say there. This is the seventh video I've recorded today. Maybe it's the sixth. I don't know. Math is hard. But I've, I've done a lot of videos the past couple days trying to make sure we have a queue uh, when I'm going to be unavailable to uh, work on stuff over the holidays. But I digress. We need 55 treated planks. We got 8.8 .8 days. We might actually stand a chance of finishing this. We'll see. Uh, but we also have the ability to come over here and uh, put additional platforms in so we can put more stuff on the back side. Uh, this bad water pump, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because there's no real reason for it to exist. And since we have dynamite, I'm going to go ahead and blow this up, bring this down one more level, and then that's going to give us... Let's 
space on the back side here to, uh, well, we could probably should get rid of this stuff, maybe find a way to stack it on top of other things and uh, figure out something else from there. I like the idea of using these warehouses a little bit better. So a good way to start that, and we don't have a lot of planks, we probably should keep some of them. So maybe do this in stages, but I do want to put some additional uh, platforms up here so we can change these guys from being the medium storage to being large storage. And then on top of those, I'll put piles. So we'll have to have ladders or something to get up there. But that's going to be much better, much better place to store stuff. Uh, this gear storage obviously is not full. Uh, we can condense this to be one instead of having two storages for gears. Uh, the pine resin, eh, I don't think we really need to have a 1200 storage for it, but I might as well make one. And paper as well. That'll allow us to condense things just a tiny bit. And we'll have the ability to maybe get some other fun stuff done here. Actually, I can move this over one and then I can put another one up here, but we'll see. We got some, uh, got some time to play with things. Biggest priority uh, is getting this bad water rig built. And I guess based on the way this is progressing, we actually might stand a decent chance if we can get these treated planks going just a tiny bit faster. Should be good. All right. And this dynamite was placed here uh, because I was going to attempt to build a, a bridge across the river here. So what's actually ended up happening is I've created a little bit of a monster here. Uh, this is going to be that's going to be... Oh, that's actually the right height. Okay. Uh, I don't dare put another one of these contamination barriers here, but I can put a platform and then the other side of the suspension bridge. Uh, this will end up being all contamination barriers. This will end up being a ladder or a staircase to get up here. Probably, probably should be a staircase, but I don't know. I might put a ladder here anyway. But this is going to let us get across here. Uh, we want good interconnectivity as we come up and down this area. And I'm going to take this path and either connect it to the end of this with a long staircase or figure something else out in that manner. I might do some more terraforming to uh, expand this a little bit further, make it a sheer cliff face or more of a sheer cliff face and see what's up. But uh, our builders need to be focusing on getting this bad water rig done. I think we might make it. I think I said that couple times now at this point, but we should be okay. Oh, we can't reach this. Okay, I guess I have to start getting rid of uh, the rest of this, but I can go ahead and put this here. That'll allow us to put one more. Well, theoretically, if I do this, I can put one more. Just shift it over one block. So I know this is the most efficient layout ever designed, clearly. Oh, I digress. This dynamite's ready to go. This dynamite's ready to go. We're just making room for more of our gravity batteries, because guess what? We have run out of power. And of course, these are making uh, these are making some power, but it's not going to be enough for everything we're running in here now. So we really need to make sure that we are using power wisely. I'm going to turn off our dirt excavator, because that's using more than it should. Uh, this is ready. There we go. All right. So, okay. Recharging overnight should help us quite a bit. Uh, but now this is ready. Uh, I don't want to use any more of our planks just yet until we have this taken care of. Oh, wow. Yeah, we are good. I don't know why I was so panicky about this earlier, but we now have almost all of our treated planks. That's going to be nice to have that done. We'll probably keep it paused a lot of the time. I won't say most of the time. But uh, crucially, having both of these on here is going to prevent any bad water from coming out, which means we can then remove these blockages. And we can actually have this be a very nice, well, this is a bad water source, but this could be fresh water coming out of here. And this is going to make this arable land coming out here as well. So we could, we could put some dams up in the uh, corner and have a very nice, very nice irrigated area even though we probably don't need one over here. All right, 195 out of 200. We are cooking, friends. We are looking good. Making good progress here. Of course, we can't reach that quite yet, but we will. All right, 198. Should see uh, should see some guys coming over here with the last couple bits 
of treated planks and then there she goes someone else just has to come finish it and this will be ready to go and we can say goodbye to bad water problems on this side of the map cool uh i'm not gonna have not gonna have these guys well i guess i could have them pumping but we're not gonna have more than five beavers working here right now in fact i'm not gonna have more than two because we uh we currently have enough bad water to make the explosives that we actually need. Um, this, I can go ahead and just... Oh, look. Look, the dance hall. Oh, they have no rhythm. That's so sad. If we go to one time speed, we can actually kind of get inside here. Look at these animations. They did such a good job with this. I say as they just completely empty out. But that This is such a cool building. It's very, very folk tales. That's really fun. I love stuff like this. And of course, the uh, Iron Teeth have their own motivatorium slash indoctrination theater or whatever that thing is. But this is this is cool. This is cool. And we're going to have carousels and all that other fun stuff eventually once we get to that point. But now that this is in place, we can actually continue building our contamination barriers or we can continue building things that would need the treated planks. Uh, we just talked about the dance hall. Needed 50 of those, so I'm glad we are able to do that without me having to mess with this too much. Uh, this doesn't have any dirt, but we have so much dirt. Why? Oh, it has to be continuously supplied. That's that's probably what it is. So I guess we can organize that by haulers. Speaking of haulers, I know we have a lot of these builder's huts. Uh, we need to have some additional haulers really bad, so I'm going to deprioritize these builder's huts, and we're going to put in another hauling post and I guess it doesn't really matter where this goes because I don't think they stay there or anything but this probably should be additional uh, liquid storage when we get to that point maybe I'll put this over here in this general area there's not really any uh, any rhyme or reason behind sticking it here but it doesn't hurt to have a oh that actually can't reach that I forgot because <laughs> this this isn't set up in a good spot. Let's let's not put that there. Because uh, I don't want to get in the way of this. I suppose... I'll just put this here. Why not? Super far out of the way. For literally no reason whatsoever. But what we can do is we can go ahead and we can put all of this... All this in place. Very, very nicely. I know we're we're making the uh, making the planks that are going to require us to uh, move stuff around over here and to build all of this, but but we have a lot of other stuff we have to get get to here. Uh, do I have enough to? Oh, you know what? I could just build more gravity batteries. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean they can't reach this? Oh, I didn't put a uh, didn't put a path in. That's gonna get us instantly instantly more power if we we build these things so let's do that kick this into high speed and watch them go um for power's sake oh no we're actually we're doing fine and it gives us an estimated time until it discharges that does seem to fluctuate quite a bit but it's looking all right looking all right this also oh this needs to leave uh this power wheel and these uh oh these are full okay so we need to actually uh, give our builders something to do. We need to be putting terrain blocks in. So I guess that's what we'll do. We'll just... Uh, yeah. We'll just square off this whole cliffside and see what happens here. I think it's probably not... Probably not going to let us uh, irrigate all of this, but we'll... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because it's letting me put this here. This is to the right of this three. And this is... Okay. I suppose... I suppose this will suffice. This should be okay. Well, I know that's going to work, so that's fine. Put this here, put this here, and then uh, we'll investigate when we get to that point. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach all of this... I mean, they probably can. Well, if I put this here, they're definitely going to be able to reach probably 
yeah, you know what? I'll just I'll just do this. <laughs> that'll that'll be okay. So we got four days left in the drought. Uh, we are currently almost out of power. This needs planks that I don't have because they ignored my build order. All right, well, I did this to myself, so I'll tell you what. Let's deprioritize building this, force them to go up there, and instead construct gravity batteries. Yeah, the problem is they're spreading the planks kind of... Okay, maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah, I need 19. I have 19. I need 21 more planks. Yeah, we're, we're going to be fine. We will be okay. So, i got to decide where I'm going to put this... Uh, Got to decide where I'm going to put this aquatic farm. I'm not entirely sure. We'll get there. This is wheat flour. This is going to go away. I did say last episode I was going to put a bakery here. So let's do that. This one will make bread. And we're going to need some more... Yeah, we're going to need some more wheat flour, which means we need more wheat. Which is what I was attempting to... Oh, hold on. What I was attempting to replant over here after all these uh, sunflowers got taken care of. Look at these guys putting all this dirt in. That is, uh, that's a lot of dirt. A lot of these guys uh, getting to work here. Oh yeah, I can't put in, uh, <laughs> oh, I can't put in the, uh, the stairs here until I have this whole thing taken care of. Because now, yeah, now we're going to be, uh, going to be having a little bit of fun here. So I'm going to put this in place. Then, of course, this will have to have uh, contamination barriers on it. I don't think I need to worry about too much uh, else happening over here. All right, do we have another gravity battery? We do. And that's going to help save us, uh, hopefully. Triple dynamite. Do I have room for a triple? I sure do. Yeah, this is going to be four again, but then this is... Well, one of these is one level lower. I'm going to just do this one by itself. And then we'll treat these both as triples going all the way down. All right, so how are we... Uh, okay, I can I can just make this a normal priority now. Now that we actually have the power back. All right, uh, normal priority here as well. We have extra beavers. Now we have extra haulers. And I can probably turn our dirt excavator back on. And now they have the mud bath they can use. That's looking good. All right, so I can put... That's already in place. All right, um, I'm just going to go ahead, get rid of these. I know I need a bunch of planks to do this. I know I'm not that stupid. Not really. Uh, but we're going to want paper storage for when we do books and later punch cards. That's going to be important. So that's going to be first. This can be storage for gears. This can be storage for... What, what, what did I say I was going to put in here? I actually don't remember. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, pine resin. That was going to be an important thing. And then... This uh, this is so many planks. I know. I know. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Don't worry. Uh, we're going to have to also start storing other kinds of food and stuff over here. Uh, I don't have any books yet. I'm not going to worry about making books yet. Not going to worry about making punch cards yet. Actually, come to think of it. Oh, the printing press makes both. Okay. Oh, of course, those need a plank too. All right. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll put these large piles on top. And we'll just, we'll just let this be what it is. So we'll do some logs. We'll do some plank storage. In fact, I'll do two things of plank storage. And then I think I can do one treated plank storage on top of whatever I put here. But we are uh, we're going to need some more stuff to happen before we get to that part. So that's going to fit here. And then in this corner, I think I can go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to put a ladder in this corner, just like so. That's going to give us the ability to get up. And around. Now, I know this is going to take a really long time to build everything that we said we we're going to build. In fact, I probably should prioritize uh, these right here. Actually, just all of this. Should prioritize these 
first because that's going to allow us to actually, you know, put stuff here. Scrap metal goes here. Metal blocks go here. We'll fix all that. Don't worry. Once I get rid of all of this. Might be a little wasteful, nonsensical in the manner I'm going about it, but we will make good use of it. Don't worry. All right, 1.1 days, looking good. We have so much water. This is completely dry. Uh, we still have. Oh, yeah, we're out of uh, we're out of metal here. That is something that I said we we're going to have to tackle in a future episode. So I think uh, this is already. If we take a look at our distance here, this is already 83 blocks. This is going to be at least another 40 or 50 to get over here. This for this building is only 40. So in theory, from well, if you're coming from the district center, uh, this is closer. However, comma, uh, our metal stuff is already over here, so I think it's going to be in our best interest to just go ahead and come over this way. And this is actually not that, uh, not that far if you think about it. We'll just have this go, because this isn't going to ever have any bad water or anything coming down here. Unless we dam this up. Oh, we could hold a lot of water in here. This is bad water coming out here, but it's never going to get high enough here unless we make it come out this way. Because it's just coming out here. If the bad water gets shunted out, it's never going to come up. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't say never, but it's very unlikely that it's going to come up this far. So I guess I can avoid giving you all vertigo, and I can just go ahead and build... Uh, build our bridges across here, but that's going to need some metal that I don't really have. Huh. Well, I have the science for it. Uh, might as well. Might as well. So this is already three. If we take a look, this is already three, four here. This would be another four. This would be five. Oh, well, no, if I came across here, I would only need to have uh, a 4 and a 5. I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. Probably substantially overthinking it. So if I if I just, you know, come across this, it's probably fine. And I'll put a, uh, put a little path here. That'll be good enough. And that's just a one block height difference. This is the same. Yeah, just uh, keep it simple, stupid, you know, the old motto. And now I just have to get up here so that, oh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just put a ladder. Why not? We have the ability to use the ladders, so why don't we? All right, this one's going to come up in the corner like so. And then up here, that's a whole lot of building, but this is a nice selection of some scrap metal. And two of these right here should be able to take care of most of that for us. And I should be able to put a nice pile storage. Actually, if I move this one block down, yeah, rotate this around. I'll have to move where I put my stuff here, but uh, this will fit. And I can still have that set as a source for scrap metal. There we go. Now we are, now we're, well, we're doing something. Let's put that there, put that there. That should work out just fine. These guys will, of course, take their sweet time building this, but uh, we do need the metal, so let's prioritize all of these, and then we will see what we see. There we go. All right, so we have, uh, we have some nice fresh water coming in. We didn't even go through, I don't know, probably less than half of this. So that's something to celebrate, I suppose. And before I do any more detonation, I think what we're going to want to do, I think what we're going to want to do, because of the way I have this set up, I thought I might want to put in the uh, aquatic farm here. So what I will do, I, I've said that like 18 times. This is going to still need a channel to come through. There's no real reason to... Uh, demolish this. It's probably going to be faster and cheaper for me to build this out of levees. Not for uh, not for any real reason, but uh, kind of just wanted to do it with terrain blocks. And we discussed last time, I, or it might have even been in the beginning of this episode, I could not tell you. 
Uh, but uh, the difference between the terrain blocks and the levees does not seem to matter when it comes to uh, getting the uh, evaporations stuff to work right. So, or and by work right, I mean work to be slightly less terrible. So, eh, we're not going to worry about it. So this will come up here. And what I will do is I'll just have this come along this way. Then we will blast out all of this. And I know I, I said we we're going to have this up here. I guess we can leave that. I'm not going to put this. I just changed my mind about that. But we can leave the uh, top of this. Leave the top of this as it is. Oh boy, a bad tide in three days. We're going to learn today, kids. <laughs> we are, we are going to learn today, let me tell you. All right, so we're going to change our mind here. <laughs> oh, man, because now, now that we have a bad tide coming in, we absolutely, absolutely have to have this uh, detonated as much as physically possible. <laughs> oh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be something. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, I have, I should have enough extract to make all of this three deep. Let's make this the utmost priority because we want to have that extra capacity because it could be a super long, could be a super long bad tide. And we want to have the ability to, uh, make sure our beavers don't die of thirst with the nasty water all over the place, you know, normal stuff. But the other thing, the other question that's going to raise is... Oh, actually, we don't even have to make that a question. I could just put this here. That's going to cause us to uh, maybe make a little bit more of an investment in putting these irrigation things in. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We are flooding. Because... See, this is why I didn't automate this. Because I know automation would not want to play nice uh, with emergency spillway releases like this. Yeah, that was uh, that was my fault for not getting that uh, done correctly. But now, now we should be good. Now we should be good. And the problem with uh, the problem with the bad tide is I can't even let this water out without having uh, without having this whole thing uh, protected here. So that's I guess that's going to be something we have to fix. But we're not going to get through the whole thing in the. Uh, in the time span of the rest of this episode anyway, because you know how that works. Always tends to uh, kind of fall in between. It is what it is. We'll get it, uh, we'll get it figured out. So we should have, oh, we're not gonna have enough, uh, ooh, we're not gonna have enough extract right now, but I can go ahead and do that. And that's gonna give us a little bit more water storage. We can't forget to put this back up to two. Oh, it's flooded. It's flooded, so now we have to wait. Now we have to wait for this to unflood before we can turn the bad water pump on. Ah, oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do something about all of this stuff. Um, I was originally gonna build this underground pile, maybe right here. Uh, yeah, right here is just gonna be fine. But I didn't want to use all the planks, so we're gonna do it. Don't worry. Eventually, we just have to be able to cut down all these trees. And you know what? My uh, stupid self did not did not mark these for cutting. So that's why we're not cutting those, because I didn't do it. So color me surprised that that's something I've done again. But I don't know. You watch these videos, you, you know what's up. You know what to expect. Consistency is important, kids. I say addressing an audience of mostly adult men as children, which is, I don't know, probably not the right move. So now I've got space here. The problem I'm going to run into is this is not not going to want to play nice with what else we have going on. Since I don't have enough, well I don't have any more extract. But I can go ahead set this off. Now that's open. I've got the ability to bring uh, some of this over here. And, oh, uh, you know, I, d I really didn't need this to be contained. I might actually, uh, I know, I know, I put the land here, and now I'm going to blow it up. But, uh, you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. 
Okay, this is all working, I think, nicely. We're making good progress here, getting to our uh, our other metal area. And yes, there is underground ruins here, so we could actually use this. Don't worry. Charging our gravity batteries up nicely. There we go. Blow this up. Blow this up. I believe this is the single. Yes, it is. We can do that one without any extract. Come on. Let me peek down in the hole here. All right, that works. And then, of course, we can put these here, and we can start putting another set, because I think we're probably going to need it. All right, uh, this is just about done. I am going to set... Uh, there we go. I, I really want to make sure we have as much stored here as possible. Even though our storage is full, it never hurts to be prepared. Never hurts to be prepared. So I am eventually going to sh uh, shut this. But it isn't going to be nice to have this completely closed in. And we'll have our cute little aquatic farm here. It'll be fine. We'll have a nice time with all of that. I, what I should have done is I should have uh, should have maybe done this slightly differently. Because this is going to absolutely flood in the uh, rest of a rest of our fun here. Let's, all right, we got 0.1 days. I know the, uh, I know this stuff is all set correctly, but I need to make sure I keep as much of this in here as I possibly can. So our bad water is going to be coming out. Oh, first of all, first of all, um, oh yeah, we absolutely, absolutely cannot do this. That, uh, <laughs> that cannot be allowed to occur. We're going to have to build around here to get at this uh, little bit of scrap metal. But we'll we'll fix that. We'll fix that in due time. So let's get this going here. We're going to have that nasty red come out. A 20-day bad tide. 20 days. Wow. Okay. Definitely. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot. I forgot about this. Okay, this is paused. Is there any water in here? No. So they shouldn't have any reason to go down here. But just in case, just in case, I'm going to remove the path. So they have no temptation to enter the forbidden zone. Now, here comes our bad water. This is going to start uh, coming down here. Uh, this is linked to this floodgate, which is as soon as it detects any contamination, going to slam shut, and we'll be good to go. So I just have to uh, predict when that is and close it slightly before. Which I actually uh, probably could get away with doing right now, based on how this is set up. Yeah, because we're going to get some bad water coming in very, very soon. That is kind of a neat, like purplish hue here where it uh where it splits. Alright, so that's closed. Hey, we didn't flood. Except that part definitely did. But that's fine. We'll be alright. So now this is closed off. Shunting this bad water away. There's no way for them to go down in the hole, is there? Please, please, no. Oh, the stairs. The forbidden stairs. Well they're gone. Nobody else can get down here, right? All right, I didn't leave. Oh, hold on. This is flooded. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, what other buildings are flooded? Uh, these two. Well, those are closed. This. This is flooded. So we need to, there's so much bad water coming down here. We need to uh, arrest this process. So let's, um, let's move that down. So it stops flowing over this thing. And I think, I think that should stop the flooding. Gives, just gives it a little bit more of a chance to uh, come through here. Now, assuming this is enough space for all of this bad water to come out, we might be okay. I know, I know that it's just going to come over here anyway. Uh, but this is not ready. This is not ready for us to have these uh, contamination barriers put in. But uh, we're, we're going to try. We're going to do our best. 
we are going to do our best for sure. So now, now we gotta got to figure out exactly how we're going to deal with this. Now, the good news is it will start spilling in a little bit further back. Hopefully it doesn't overtop our, uh, our levees here. Oh, that's so close. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's evaluate what's going on here. So what I've done, <laughs> oh, idiot that I am. I have, uh, I have created this high pressure, uh, resistance zone. And the only way to solve that problem is going to be to blast a channel here, uh, into the area that I said I <laughs> wasn't gonna, oh no. Oh, is there any, is there any way to stop this? I don't know that there is. There's plenty of space here, but there's so much, so much pressure coming through this that it is, it's going to absolutely uh, flood over this and contaminate uh, everything we have going on here. This, I don't think, is actually contaminated because the ground isn't red. But uh, again, that's the way that the game messes with uh, doing the water because it's all just one sheet under the map. As you can see, it just pulls it up above the ground where it needs to go so yeah we've uh we've caused ourselves a little problem here and because oh because this is clean water now because i've uh essentially stopped this from coming oh no okay this is this is infiltrating poisoning oh what this is this is bad this is absolutely bad news we are going to lose crops we are going to lose a lot of crops because I have to, I have to let it through here, or it's going to flood this entire thing downstream. Or I guess, I guess the um, mm, this is this is not going to be fun to rebuild. Uh, I guess the correct thing to do to let the water out would be to remove this whole line of wheels, so it has less pressure keeping it back. And then we have to blast a channel here. <laughs> then we have to do that. All right, let's um. Let's manage this here. Okay, so that should... Should hopefully stop flooding, please, please. We're going to have some infected beavers for sure. Because uh, this is now... This is now getting some bad water in it. Oh, man. It's going to kill these trees. But uh, the new irrigation mechanics, as much as I have complained about them, uh, do actually allow us to uh, not get completely screwed because oh no oh no this is they, they're gonna get a uh, ooh they're gonna get nastied over here let's um let's not do this let's come on let's uh, remove these stairs and remove these stairs so they get out of there. Okay, yeah, we're we're gonna have a uh, uh, we're gonna have problems. We got stranded beavers. Where do we have stranded beavers? Because this is okay. It's flowing. It's flowing. Yeah, we have we're gonna have some infected beavers, but uh, it is. Oh no! Oh no! This is this is such bad news. And remember when I wait? Hold on. What are you, what are you doing down here, dude? Oh, you're building. Oh, that was a mistake. Get out of there immediately. Absolutely. Immediately. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I hate this. I really do not like this. Do I have dynamite? I don't have extract. I just have dynamite. All right. Because we're going to have to... We're going to have to divert this. All right. So, uh, in order for this to happen, we are going to have to... Man, I wish I had extract. What did I do with all my extract? I guess I made these stupid, uh... Oh, 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 There's extract in here. So I'll tell you what we'll do is we will deprioritize these. We will prioritize this. And we're going to come over here. We're going to, uh... We're going to make a gamble. This is a triple dynamite. Uh, we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to make a trade here. 
So I need to cut a channel. Come on. I need to cut a channel here. The three wide, this needs to be... Well, this isn't actually going to be... Uh, this isn't actually going to be doable. This has to be two... I think I, I, I actually don't know if I'm going to have enough extract to actually do this. So let's let's just do the one line for now. We can always make it wider. Get this right here. Come up like so. Uh, stairs. Okay, and then I'm going to want... Oh, I'm going to have to... Uh, this is already infected. We're, we're going to have some... Uh, we're going to have some tough decisions to make. Tough decisions to make. We're going to have to sacrifice some beavers for the greater good. So here's what's going to have to happen. This is at most priority. And then all of these get put in place. We should, uh, because this path does connect all the way around, we should be able to uh, get over here and maybe only infect a third of the beavers. But we can also make the noble sacrifice of, uh, <laughs> make the, the noble sacrifice of having, oh, these didn't even need the traded planks in the first place. They just need regular planks. Oh, God. That was a blunder. Uh, we're going to sacrifice whatever crops get poisoned as a result of this. It's it's not going to be all of them because we do have some of this, but it's, it's not going to be pretty. We're going to have the bad water divert down here. That should buy us a little bit of time. Um, there we go. Just let this out. Hopefully stop the bleeding slightly. There we go. There we go. Get these guys uh, going over here. Pause the game again. I know, I know. Some of you guys really, really don't like it when it's paused this much. But hold on. Hold on. This isn't actually killing the crops. Oh, that's right. It's a concentration thing now. It's like less than 50%. It just reduces the irrigation range and over 50% it starts actually killing crops. Yeah, you can see it kind of get in here. Oh, this is um, okay. Well, obviously it's going to continue to get worse, but this is uh, this is doable. This is doable. This is a, a good sacrifice that we, uh, we chose to make here. Now this is completely uh, completely done. Um, gonna kind of gonna kind of fan this a little bit, build up, and then let it out again. So now here comes here comes more bad water that we already shunted off. That needs to be closed immediately, and it is. All right. Um. Now I know I know stop pausing the game, etc. But I really want to make sure I'm doing this right. Let's. Let's figure let's figure this out. I think oh we're so close. We're so close. But this is uh this is only going to continue to get worse. Uh we have one unwell beaver which is honestly better than I thought we would uh not we would get to. Oh, now it's backing up here. Now it's backing up. Okay. Uh these are flooded. Those are flooded. This should go down hopefully, please. Uh unwell beavers. I'm sorry. It's just the way it had to be. Get these get these planks in here. Let's go. Oh, now the bad water is over here. The bad water has made its way across. Okay. Mm. You know, I thought this was going to be a nice, simple. Oh, I thought it was going to be a nice, simple thing. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, going to have to do an emergency release so we don't have uh, don't have flooding. All right, put that back up. Yeah, so what we've done is we've polluted our <laughs> we've polluted our pool. We're gonna put our aquatic farm in. Oh god, okay. This um the stairs need to be here. Do you have planks? You're starving and you have planks. Thank you, noodles. You are doing your fellow beavers a great service. Oh, this is such a disaster. This is so bad. Somebody come finish this, please. I will go ahead and blast this trench out so it can immediately, immediately drain. Hopefully that will uh, help solve some of our problems. It's actually not killed only uh, a very small amount of our crops. I'm glad we. Uh, I'm glad we did what we did when we did it. 
this is proven to be not quite as terrible of a uh, of a situation as I figured it would be. Well, let's check. You're swimming in this. So you don't actually have any stat for uh, for contaminated water. That's good. That's good. Let's take our bad water pump and uh, let's... Yeah, let's, uh, well, pump bad water exclusively out of this. This should purify for the plants. And then we can actually put everything else in here. But man, that is, uh, that is a class A blunder. All right, so now we have this diversion channel here, which is... Yeah, going down, it's not going to spill far enough over here to affect our beavers. All right, that's a nice that's a nice diversion. We should make it larger, and we will, but that's going to take some time for us to uh, get to. Why are we not making extract? Or is that just because we don't have the... Uh... Oh, we don't have the bad water because I paused all this. Oh, this is flooded still. That's, that's why. Well, this is going to help solve some of that, hopefully. Oh, boy. Exciting things happen when you uh, play the game in a stupid manner. That's uh, that's for sure. Oh, and we're also still doing this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We need to... Yeah, we need to just prioritize uh, doing the smart things here. Let's do our triples here. Our doubles here and our doubles here. But before we do that, I will put some more singles right here because I know they can reach that. So that should give us a nice wide channel that we can then put gates to uh, give ourselves a little bit of an insurance should this happen again. There's so much, so much bad water in here. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to put another one of these. All right, come on, rotate, please. Thank you. Put another one of these right here. Uh, get this going. Suck that bad water out, and then uh, hopefully, hopefully, should be good to go. Did I already prioritize these? I think I did. No, I did not. Okay, well, let's um, do that with a quickness, shall we? Okay, good. That's already done. So this, oh, you know, I'm not going to have the room to, uh, not going to have the room to blast this. But that's fine, I guess. I can just come out here and do the same thing with a uh, little path. That'll work. Wait, what a uh, what what a mess I've made of this, huh? Well, we're gonna get the problems all fixed up because that's what we do. Setbacks are setbacks. You just have to get through them. All right, so we're pumping bad water out of here. This should become good water. It's already killed some of the trees. Oh, that's such a pain. I'm going to have to put another forester in here. But uh, if it's gradually reducing the contamination, then I think we're going to be fine. Uh, yeah, it's, it's killed a couple of these. Well, we'll make it work. It has only 69... Oh, now it says 75% productivity, so I guess it was actually finding some. 71%, yeah, okay, it's, it's going fast now. But in a couple days, this will all be gone. So that'll be fine. We are successfully diverting a good chunk of this. There we go. We just want to make sure it doesn't get far enough over here to infect these guys walking along. But I believe we should be in a decent shape. Hopefully. Hopefully. In fact, I'm going to take these pumps out just because we don't need those anymore. And I'm going to put in uh, two more bad water pumps. Just got to get this uh, got to get this going. Get that taken care of. Uh, obviously, the uh, expansion of this should probably be priority. And we're working on it. We just have to get there. Well, excitement, excitement, excitement. I am impressed. I am very impressed with these uh, contamination barriers. This has saved our crops up here. We can be very happy about that. Uh, we have so many stinking potatoes, I don't need these anyway. But we're going to get rid of these. And have to complete two shaves and a haircut always. Or shave and a haircut two bits, that's what it is. I should know, I did music stuff forever. Um, but I didn't. Alright. 
I need more lumber mills. I already have, what, five, eight? I need to put a couple more of these in here. So let's do that. Because I don't have the planks to make any more of this kind of stuff. I'll put one here, and I'll put one here, and then I'm going to put... Well, it's going to have to be a double. There we go. This will be connected through here. And they still haven't built this, because of course there's not enough planks. Well, we're going to make it work. We will make it work. They're still pumping the you-know-what out of uh, out of all this. And you know what? I'm actually... I'm actually impressed with it. I know I've said it before, but I really thought this was going to kill all these crops, and I should have done this earlier. But uh, we managed to only have one contaminated beaver. Where are these stranded beavers? Where Where is this guy? Or is he stuck in here? I don't see him. Okay. Oh, he died. Okay. Oops. All right. So let's um. Let's not do that again. I guess I guess they're both dead if they're, if they're not stranded anymore. Hmm. Yeah, not my uh, not my finest moment here. Uh, pine resin and the gears, paper. What was what was I gonna put here? I don't remember. Um. Oh, I guess I could put baked potatoes, grilled potatoes, whatever. I was I always want to call these baked potatoes. No real reason to. Uh, okay, these are looking good. That's looking good. These are looking good. I guess we'll just keep on blasting this away, because why not, right? We're waiting on these to get extract. But we can go ahead and blast that out. Just little bits and pieces, one at a time. Oh, man, it's just, I'm so irritated with this. <laughs> I, I thought I could save them, but I guess I couldn't. All right, Ryan. Yeah, you better keep pumping, man. I, I know there's still bad water in here. But I, I, you know what I said? is I said we're going to do the aquatic farmhouse in this episode, and guess what? We are going to do the aquatic farmhouse this episode. Uh, they're going to have space if I just do... Oh, I don't have the side platforms. I forgot. Oh, well. I suppose... Uh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> he went and gotten another one I was going to get rid of. Yeah, let's um, let's just do this. Instead of trying to take up other spots here. Aquatic farmhouse, and then... And I guess it doesn't have to be the corner. Probably should be... Honestly, right in front of the door would be smarter. Uh, put this here. It looks like it's mostly not contaminated. So we'll see if the crops grow, then we know. If they don't grow, then we know. So cattail versus spatterdock, this makes the cattail crackers. Spatterdock gets grilled, I believe. Yes. So I'm going to grow spatterdock first because I don't want to have to set up another gristmill quite yet. It does take 12 days, but that's going to be fine. So I'm going to actually plant this in rows. And that's going to end up giving us slightly more spatterdock than cattails which hopefully works out nicely. We'll see. We got some stuff to accomplish still in order to make this actually work. Okay, that's done. That's done. That's going to put more water. I know we we completely ruined our uh, <laughs> we completely ruined our everything here, but uh, the amount of bad water that was going to just absolutely crush this entire colony. Uh, well, you know, you saw it. You saw the carnage. But now we have the problem of having to rebuild the water wheels without really good access to these inner bits because there's no, uh, well, there's no access. So what I'm going to do, because I can, I'm going to I'm gonna fill these in with the, uh, the terraforming. And then we'll put these back in place. How about that? Because now that we have this whole thing... That's going to send a lot of the bad water. Anything that backs up can go through here. And then, of course, we will put our uh, our floodgates, and I can have this activate when it detects bad water as well. All right, so that's looking good. I still don't have enough... Man, I still don't have enough planks. I can't believe it. 
Oh, this isn't connected. Duh. Uh, because we don't have enough planks. All right, let's prioritize uh, connecting this, shall we? So, uh, man, I've been trying to get this whole thing done. Well, that's the way it goes. You're not going to win every single time. Sometimes you have to make stupid mistakes to find out uh, fun solutions for stuff. But we're doing all right. Can't really complain. So we need planks to come over here. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully they start bringing those. I know we're making a bunch of them. I yeah, you know what? Uh, -uh. I'm, I'm gonna pause pause this uh, wood workshop. And by this, I mean two of them, because uh, we don't need to have a, that much treated planks right now. We have other things that are just a little bit more important than that. We'll get it figured out. In fact, I think I'm gonna take one of these out and replace it with. Uh, should it be another smelter? Because the, the Folktales bots um, require, well, it's actually, a, I think, the same stuff, except you have to have the catalyst. And we're going to want to use Spatterdock as a catalyst uh, component when we start making that stuff. Because I know that's a really good recipe. Well, relative to what beavers are going to want to eat. Raw potatoes are also good, but uh, if we have a lot of beavers that are eating the potatoes, then... That won't be as attractive of a thing. You get two potatoes, gives you 30 units of uh, biofuel. Two spatter docks ungrilled, gives you 25. If you grill potatoes, you get four grilled potatoes. If you grill spatter dock, you get three grilled spatter dock. So actually, the spatter dock is a uh, spatter dock might be better. Well, it'd be better to use for fuel, I think. I don't know. Okay, so this is done. Uh, let's get this stairs put in place. Now we're actually making more planks, and I kind of want to just kind of want to just put in more of these plank things here, because I know we have to eventually put in printing presses to make books, and this whole area just honestly needs to expand a lot more. And we'll get there. We just have to get uh, have to get through all this nonsense first. So before I forget, uh, triple floodgates. Is that going to be high enough? Yes. I'm going to triple flood... Ooh, I'm not going to be able to reach that. That's inconvenient. Well. All I can do is just... Uh, put these guys in behind it. This will be set down. Attached to this stream gauge. Finally, it has a purpose. Uh, set above high contamination. Uh, zero set height below low contamination of three contamination low threshold uh one percent high threshold one percent so as soon as it detects any it opens as soon as it has below one it will close i think i've set that up correctly we'll find out won't we it's always a a fun adventure when we do that okay so this is now accessible which means uh, all of this storage. We have planks, planks, logs, logs. Um, I guess... Oh, I was going to put treated planks on top of this other thing. So let's uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. I will put this... I don't have enough planks to build this other thing, so I won't quite yet. Won't get rid of this quite yet. That could be a next time thing. So I really want to make sure we get this spatter dock planted. And we did! We got it planted... We don't have any contaminated beavers anymore. I think this antidote works a whole lot better than the iron teeth and their decontamination pods. So I don't know what that says about natural remedies versus anything else, but uh, we survived. We we created a crisis and we survived it. So I think we can be pretty proud of that, even uh, even if it was pretty stupid in the first place, what ended up happening. Uh, we made it work and we're pumping out all the bad water here. Uh, of course, this is going to be pretty low in terms of height once that's taken care of. But we're looking good. We still have plenty of water, still have plenty of food. And we are working through all of our all of our fun stuff here. So I think this is probably a good spot to wrap it up for now. Um, I believe uh, by the time this episode comes out, this one... You know what? I'm not even going to try to guess whether Christmas has happened yet or not. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever else you might be celebrating. I appreciate you, as always. 
and uh, especially Beard Boosters for all of their contributions. I don't know, I've made, in the past couple days, I've made way too many videos trying to make sure I've got a pipeline of stuff ready to go uh, so you guys don't miss a day on anything while I'm off doing all my fun stuff uh, off and on over the next couple of days, weeks, whatever. By the time you see this video, I probably will have already been gone for a week. I don't know. I'm making videos, I'm rendering them, I'm uploading them, and then I, I hit publish whenever the time comes. So uh, suffice to say, a chaotic end to uh, 2023 in terms of making videos, but it really, really has been a extremely rewarding, rewarding time getting to uh, share the games with you and interact with the comments and everything. So again, any comments, questions, concerns, uh, want to flame me for making bad choices, please do drop those below. I read every comment and I try to respond whenever I can. I can't always get to it, but I do read them and I do make notes on what you guys have to say. So look forward to interacting with you there and I will look forward to all the other fun stuff we've got coming up with our other playthroughs and everything else. Uh, don't forget, I am still accepting submissions for colony reviews. So if you have any uh, really cool game saves in Timberborn you want to show off or you, you built something cool, something that is cool and safe for work, I know there are a few of you who would love nothing more than to send me something that I can't show on, show on YouTube. But uh, yeah, please... Uh, be mature about submitting stuff but I, I would love to see all that and we'll feature some of those in upcoming videos over the next couple of weeks uh, as I get submissions and we see what we're able to get to but yes that's going to be it I will see you the next time don't forget don't forget in fact I'm going to uh, not forget for you by putting this water dump in uh, I guess right here we will have to fill in uh, this little slot. Actually, we can do that with terrain blocks. And then have this uh, done like that. But yeah, we need to be able to actually dump water in here. Anyway, that's it. That is all the time I have for today. I gotta go edit uh, uh, nine or ten hours of video <laughs> in the next couple hours. But we'll make it happen. Because I really care about you guys. I want to make sure that you uh, get to uh, watch all this fun stuff. Because I, I have a whole lot of fun playing the games. And I know you have a whole lot of fun interacting. If not, well, hopefully you enjoy them a little bit more. We'll see. Got some fun stuff coming up. But yep, that is quite enough of my rambling. Once again, I feel like I end every video like this now. But it's late. I'm tired. I love games. Appreciate you guys. And I hope to see you again soon in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.